dive room tour with Dana. All right, so we are gonna be in room 504, it's a cove balcony. So as you'll see, we have our little door sign here. Some little lanyards I made. Okay, so we're gonna scan ourselves in. And come on inside. Now, one thing you should know, if you haven't seen my room tours before is we do a real life room tour meaning I don't show you what it looks like when we first get here I show you what it looks like after we've been living in it for a while so you'll get an idea of what it really looks like when you've been here for several days so the first thing this is the back of the door and it's gonna talk to you a little bit about your life vest some safety things your monster station if you're in this room your monster station is C6 which is in the grand atrium or excuse me grand central here okay first we have two closets when you first come in and let's take a look at them so here I'm gonna open both sides so this is your first closet yep that's our dirty clothes second side all right and these right here I'm sorry there's not a lot of light but these right here fall down all right so pull it down it becomes a shelf if you don't need to be hanging but you can put it back up here if you rather have more hanging space you do get a safe as well as two pull out bins One thing I like is down here at the bottom, you get a longer pull-out shelf, and it's a great place to keep shoes. And guys, this is just the first cabinet. There is tons of storage in here. One thing I will say is, bring some hangers from home if you want your stuff to stay on it. This is just a slick hanger. Nothing you hang on this is gonna stay unless it has a very tight neck. So ladies, if you have spaghetti strap dresses or anything like that, you may want to consider bringing your own hangers from home. So next we're going to go ahead and look at the second closet. And it's pretty much like the first, except it does have one really long hanging section, which you can see I love because my dresses are long. I can tell you that this dress is probably 57 inches long, so if that gives you an idea how long that side of the closet is and again you can add shelves or make this a long style closet this closet also has your full lid mirror in it one thing I forgot to mention and if you've cruised you have probably already seen this but everybody's going to these um, light switches that you have to keep your card in or they'll shut off here is your air. Um, you can make it lower, higher, whatever you want to do. Then there's also this quick cool button, which is supposed to cool the room um, even faster. We have found that the air works fantastically, so you probably won't really need to worry about that. Okay, so let's talk about this side of the room. So just for reference, I'm actually sitting across from the room on the sofa over here. Hi. Um, and I'm going to show you this side of the room and then we'll take a look at the sofa because it is a little neat too. So first, over here, you see we have plenty of counter space. And again, this is a, a real room tour so you can see we have junk all over the counter. Down here you have storage. So the room came with all these papers, laundry bags and stuff we didn't need. So we just stored them down here. There is a blow dryer. It's not usually here, but I put it here because I want the uh, the space over here to be used more for my stuff, not the blow dryer. So I just moved the blow dryer over here. Some more lanyards, some ducks we have to hide. This is the day before the last day. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> You have your telephone. Now, beside the telephone, you'll see this little sign. It says, hungry, see the menu. So this is Carnival's room service menu. Let me tell you a little, I don't know if it's a secret or something is messed up or what. If you scan that menu, it takes you to the dinner menu. And it makes it look like they don't have any other 
menu but the dinner menu and the thing about the dinner menu is everything you have to pay for but the daytime menu which ends at 10 p.m. has free items on it but if you just scan that sign like I said it just takes you to the dinner when you don't see the free items before 10 p.m. however if you type in the address down at the bottom so it says fun ship dot ps slash rs <laughs> um that'll actually take you to the day menu and so you can see the free sandwiches and desserts and salads and stuff like that so just fyi if you scan this in your room and you're only seeing dinner type in the actual address and it should get you to um the entire day and night menu so up above that we have two shelves for storage i call that our snack shelf you see i got granola I got my little uh, drink cups, some face masks, some, you know, junk. And another shelf. So below the shelf, you're going to see your cooler. Now, a lot of people have remarked about this cooler in that it keeps things a lot cooler um, than most of the coolers thinking it's a refrigerator. Guys, this is still just a cooler. It's not considered a refrigerator. So don't store any medications in here. You're still going to need to store them with guest services if you need a true refrigerator. However, it is true that it does keep it cooler than a lot of other coolers and other ships. And I think the primary reason for this, and if you've seen our other videos, is that it's not fully encased meaning it has space for air to get around it so it's cooling more efficiently um so yes it's cooler but um for example you can see i've had cheese in there the other thing of cheese i had in there molded so if that gives you an idea i mean we haven't even been up here but five days and it already molded so again great for drinks maybe not so great for food um so just fyi but as you can see, it's a really good size. All right, so next over here, first of all, we have this big, beautiful mirror. Um, I like to do my makeup in the mirror. It does have light in it. One thing I wish it would do better with the lighting and stuff in these rooms, and this is like, it's just carnival. This is just cruises in general, is the makeup isn't good, really. The lighting isn't good for makeup. It's this soft um, white light that really doesn't show you how bad you look. <laughs> anyway so but it's a good size mirror and i'll show you the light in a minute so then you have these three drawers this top one as you can see i mean it's got a lot of space width wise but you'll see that it's very narrow so just keep that in mind you're not really going to be you see it's narrow be able to put too much stuff in there even though i know it looks like it's full um but it's just one level and then you can get down here you see there's more stuff that you could put in here again this drawer is deeper same thing down here oh one thing to mention that's neat that we noticed here is a lot of stuff is soft clothes so the cabinets the drawers all that stuff is soft clothes so you will not be hearing it slam I remember we were on this cruise I think it was NCL Pearl and the door to the closet would not stay closed and the ship was just a rock and that door is banging all night so here you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna be soft clothes so that's great one thing I want to point out over here is all the plugs and stuff on the desk. You've probably already seen this. Excuse all of our junk. But you can see you've got three regular household plugs. Two USB on this side and two USB on that side. So you got just right here three places you can um, plug in stuff and four USBs. Now you may be asking why we still have this big old power bank here. And that is because... Since we um, film, we have to keep our batteries charged and a lot of other stuff. So even with three outlets, it's really not enough for us. And I'm going to show you another reason why in a minute. Over here under the mirror, you'll have your seating. And so this is neat because it is um, it does open and has storage in it. And it also, it's heavy as all get out, y'all. Let me tell you. Hold on sorry about that so it's really heavy but if you flip it upside down it could turn into a table um it's not that comfortable to sit in your lap only because it sits down at a slope but um if you pull this and kind of pulled it out you see the sofa it could serve as a little um little tray table or whatever here if you wanted to eat sitting on the sofa or whatever but it's really nice i will like i said though it's extremely heavy so just know that it is hard to move around which i guess is good in some for some reasons right you don't want 
fur chair is easy to knock over but it is very very heavy and so I'm just gonna turn this back over and close her up and yes I've store so what I've been doing is putting my clothes in here as I wear them so when I go to pack it'll be a lot easier so you can see plenty of storage in there all right Yep, y'all y'all get the point, right? Okay, we're not gonna worry about that anymore. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is just the other side of the room you can see. Alright, and real quick I'll show you the light. So there's the light for the mirror. Very nice, but like I said, the light that it gives off is very um yellowy. So it makes you look better than you really look. <laughs> just so you know one of the best ways to see how you really look is to go outside and it may change your opinion in the makeup that you've done for the day and I, I say this to you out of love and first-hand experience all right so now let's see let's take a look over here we have the sofa now one thing I want to say about carnival I was so happy to see that um, their color palette had changed no more is it that burnt orangey brownish disco fever kind of stuff they now have you can see the colors in the room are more spa more beachy i love that unfortunately this sofa shows stains so bad so that's one of the things i noticed is it looks very stained and i saw in somebody else's video um when we were looking at room tours before we came that their couch was stained as well so i think carnival may want to uh we take a look at the fabrics that they're using on these sofas because they're going to get used a lot and you see there's a stain on the side and they're going to get stained very easily and carnival's other ships a lot of what they have um i guess they're a pleather or whatever so i think that may be a difference so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try to flip this bed over and show you how it works i may have to get Corey to help me because i haven't done it before but let's see there is a mattress under here hold up okay guys i'm sorry i couldn't do it with one hand so i had to uh flip it over put the camera down for a minute but see there's a bed here and it's a real mattress i bet a little thin but it's a real mattress guys so the uh, bed turns excuse me the sofa turns into a bed which is nice if you have a third person in here now i'm gonna try to flip it back to the sofa let's see if i can do that one-handed this tab back here I can't even get it to move yep nope that's not gonna be a one hand I don't know what I've done <laughs> okay guys I'm so embarrassed I can't get the bed back so Corey lovingly decided to help me show you guys how to pull out the sofa and importantly to put it back all right all right Corey show us all right so there's a little lever right here in the front. You will just lift this up with all your might. Pull, push, and flip. That locks the bed in place. Okay. All right. And then when you're ready to put it back so you can sit on it, there is a lever right here. Hold on. We want to see this lever up close. Look. It's just all this long bar right here. Hold on with me. Can you see this long bar? Right here. Oh, okay, so just so my Vanna point right here. Yeah. That, okay, that and metal bar. Oh, uh, that up and down. Uh, that's the lock. So okay. you pull that. Okay, and then you take your other hand with this arm that you pull. Okay, the little. And it just goes in the reverse. Ah. Boom. Just like that. Now you don't have to wait for your room, Stuart. And you saw it here. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad I can assist. So this is the um, the bed that you saw when you came in here earlier. And as always, it's basically two twins that they push together um, to make a king. So what I want to do is show you your storage on the side or lack thereof. Okay, so this is what we have for storage. So it's these two little shelves. And you see, I can barely really put anything up here. You get a I got my fan up here, barely. It would probably fall on the floor if the bed wasn't right there. And I got room for water, some headphones, and my phone. But it's just a very little metal shelf. It does come off 
and you could slide it around and put it wherever. So if the beds were actually open over here in the middle, you could put it there in the middle. So if you had these turned into two twins instead of a king, you could put the two nightstands there so everybody would have one. Um, but yeah, that is your nightstand. So if you're somebody who likes to keep a lot of stuff on the side of their bed, just know that unless you put it on the floor, it probably isn't going to happen here. They do have this um, little, I'll say it's a little nice light, but honestly I didn't use it. But if you read in bed um, and you like that, there is a night light here. So one less thing you have to carry and bring with you. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty much your standard bed. We've got three light switches. This first one does backlighting. So this is nice to keep on or cut on first thing in the morning so you don't like hurt your eyes. It's going to be softer than the overhead light up here. And then those other two switches, one controls the overall, excuse me, the overhead light that I just showed you. And the other switch controls those lights over there. Be warned that none of the switches controls that mirror. So if you need to cut that mirror light out, you will have to get up and go over here and cut it off manually. Okay, now I want to show you Corey's side of the bed. Here's the funny thing. I'm going to have to crawl over there because there is not enough space for me to actually walk beside his side of the bed. Um, yeah. And we can't really push mine over any further. We pushed it over a little bit because we had to when we got here. But I don't think we could push it over anymore. So excuse me while I shimmy across the bed and show you what his side looks like. All right. And this is me shimmying. Shimmy, shimmy. All right. See? Look at the space between the bed. And you only have that much space because the window. Here where the wall is. You see how much space you don't have? Get your leg between that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're over here on Corey's side. I'm gonna move the curtains a little bit so you can see. I wanted to show you his side because he has a CPAP machine and I know other people may have a CPAP machine as well. Let's see if I can move this. And I just wanna show you, it will fit if you turn sideways on the bottom shelf. So just so you know, and then Toppy has his phone. But I just wanted you to know if you have a CPAP it will fit on the bottom shelf. Otherwise, his side is just like mine. He has a light there. Oh, I meant to mention that the lights, there are USB plugs, which is nice. And that back wall is also magnetic. You see there's a little magnet there. And he uses that to hang his hose and equipment for his CPAP machine. You can see he also has a bottle of water sitting up there. So one thing I did want to mention, I probably look crazy right now after crawling across the bed. But one thing I did want to mention is that, um, I don't know what Carnival did this. So I appreciate the USB plugs on the side. But again, there are so many people who use medical devices and things that need to be plugged in. Um, USB just doesn't cut it. It doesn't have enough power to do what they need it to do. So my fan and Corey's uh, CPAP machine, neither one of them can we plug in via UP. U, uh, USB so they are still plugged into the wall so that means we have to drape the plug from the wall across the floor under the bed and eventually I get some power and he gets some power on his side um, at this point we're used to doing this I just would have hoped that on the newer ships um, they would do better I mean yeah, I mean, I know people who both um, spouses have CPAP machines. You know, I just, I don't know. I just think in this day and age, it would have been nice to have plugs there. I'm not sure why they made that decision. There's some other decisions I'm not sure why they made either that we'll talk about later. But overall, the room is definitely going to be more narrow than what you're used to with Carnival. Carnival used to be known for their bigger rooms. Um, this is more narrow. It seems maybe longer. Um, but it's definitely more narrow, but I can't say there was really any issue with space. Oh, let me show you. So we have a huge TV over here and this is directly across from the bed. As you can see, TV, bed. Um, it's a really big TV. I don't know how big, let's say, uh, 46 inches. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, 
um, it's nice directly across the bed. It does not swivel. So if you are sitting over here on the couch slash bed, um, you'll just have, you should still be able to see it. You just won't be able to turn to see it. What I wanted to point out here is a lot of people talk about the space between uh, the bed and the TV. There is not a lot of space. You can get by here. I put my arm here. You can see the distance with my arm. You know, um, you can get by. It's just, it would have been nice if it was a little bit bigger. Um, I thought, based on reviews, that when I came in, I was going to hit the TV every time I walk by. But I don't here. I can kind of show you. So this is me. You can see my shoulders walking by. So I'm not hitting the TV. But my leg is rubbing up against the uh, bed. So here's another view of the room. And now we will go and take a look at the balcony. All right, so now we are gonna take it outside. Now I'm gonna warn you that the lens may fall out. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you here is air condition. If you do leave this door open, your air condition will cut off and you will regret it because it's muggy outside. Up here, we have our child safety lock. Let me see if you can see that. It's kind of hard. There we go. Our child safety lock. So you turn and unturn it to lock it. And then you press this down to open it up. All right, so we are gonna step out here. Oh, first let me show you. I always like to show you. There is definitely a step here, so please be careful. And now we are out here on the balcony. So one thing I will say is I did have the chairs removed at the table out here because as you know we always bring our own chairs so they'll look a little bit different if you don't if you keep the chairs they have. So I want to give you an idea of how wide it is. This is an extra wide kind of camp chair and then here's an even bigger one on this side. And there's the window. So what I want to do is I'm going to sit out here actually. First let me show you this way. I'll say that when I first saw videos of this I was very worried that the balcony was going to, I was going to have my knees up in the balcony in the window. It's not that small. It's small. But not that small. So here again is the chair. And you see you've got decent leg room. So let me sit in it to really show you what that looks like. These are my knees. They are nowhere near this. As a matter of fact, you can put your feet up. I can't even touch my toe to the window. I'm by the way. So you've got plenty of meaning, as you can see here, and leg room. You can put the table here, whatever. So there's plenty of space out here. Like I said, at first I thought it was going to be too narrow, but it's not. It's open right here, then you have full glass. And then you can't see, I'll turn it upside down. But down here it's open too. And so that's pretty much the room. I am going to show you the bathroom. But I'm going to wait until we have it serviced because there's no towels in there. All the towels on the floor and no clean towels in there. And I want it to look a little bit better. I like it to look good here but not destroy it. <laughs> so after we get that taken care of, I'm going to show you the bathroom. But for now, this is your room tour. And again, this is room 5404 on Mardi Gras, Carnival's newest ship. And this is a cove balcony. I can show you over here the door. You see that big metal door? When you first get on here, depending on what side the ship is um, receiving fuel from, your door may be closed so you can't actually come outside and that's to protect you while they're fueling the ship. But then um, after they finish, they open up all the doors. And the only time they would close the doors is if uh, weather was so bad that it was impacting um, your balcony. So, you know, water was splashing all up here. or something that made it um, dangerous to be outside. Then they would close these doors. We've been on several carnival ships, even when we had codes lowered to the ground and never had a problem. They never closed the doors, so, um, for weather purposes. So, you should be okay. One thing I will say, 
if you have settled in um, or a carnival in any of their code balconies, like in the dreams, for example, or on Magic or wherever else they have their code balconies, this one is actually high off the ground. This is deck five. So I think, and I think the codes were on deck two um, on the other ships. And don't let the numbers throw you off because the numbers aren't really right. It isn't like this is three levels higher than it was on the other one. I think it's actually maybe one level higher. So I do wish it was a little bit closer to the world. Um, yeah, I'm a little crazy. I know if it were up to me, I'd be able to stick my toes in it while we were moving. So, you know, take it with grain of salt. Anyway, um, I do wish it was a little bit closer to the water because it really doesn't, other than it truly just being in a cove, it doesn't quite have that same feeling for me as being as close to the water. But it's still really nice. It's beautiful. Okay, so I know I promised you a tour of the bathroom. So now we're gonna do that. We're gonna go take a look at the bathroom. And then open the bathroom. So first thing you'll notice, two little hangers here on the door. I got my um, wraparound robe hanging on one of those. So just so you know, there is a place to hold it. Here is the bathroom. In all her glory. shower okay so let's get into this bathroom a little bit I'm actually gonna step up in here hi bathroom okay so you're gonna get two shelves and then the countertop to get soap and then a little sink toilet flush this is where your towels will hang over here one thing I like about this, and I'll show you, is tons of toilet paper. Look, three rolls right there and another roll over here. Don't have to worry. This is the most toilet paper I've ever had in a bathroom. Oh, no, there's, oh, yeah. No, there's more rolls down here. <laughs> Look, y'all. Toilet paper shortage where? Okay. <laughs> and you get a trash can. And that's where your Kleenex would go, but I took it out. So there's a Kleenex. And then there's also a little mirror here if you're going to shave. So guess what guys, I am actually going to really give you a tour of this bathroom and I'm going to show you because I've heard comments online that people think the shower might be too small for bigger people. I'm a bigger people so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now right now I have the door open and I am actually sitting on the toilet. I'm going to close the door. Now I am completely inside this bathroom. You see. I have no problem sitting here on the toilet. Let me show you knee room. This is my, these are my knees. That's the shower. There's no issue with knees. I do have a wide stance when I sit. My knee is not touching the door. There's actually a space under here for storage. So this is where I like to fold up and put our extra washcloths and stuff. But this is um, right under the sink. There's also additional storage down here. Oh, I know what. Some people talked about the toilet paper kind of being behind you when you pull it. So yeah, if you're sitting here, I'm not sure. If you're sitting here, the toilet paper is a little bit behind you. You know what I do? I just pull it off and sit it on the countertop. So I don't even really usually use that. Okay, let's look at the shower. Now one thing you'll notice about this shower door when I open it, it opens out into the room, but half of it actually goes into the bath, into the shower itself. So it doesn't open that far out into the room. So if you remember, this is the door where that has the hangers on it. You can see it only comes like halfway across my towel here. The door to the shower. And I'll show you all the way down to the floor. So that's nice. So now I'm going to go inside the shower as always and show you what the space looks like in there. Now bear with me, it is wet in here, so I'm going to put some down on the floor. Hold on. So I'm angled up. Hi! I'm in the shower, closing the shower door, and I'm in the shower. Look guys, plenty of room in the shower. Shower head. Me. Easy. I can turn around in it. Okay, I'm sorry, camera's on. Anyway, easy to get in the shower. And that is the view outside the shower. Again, you open the door. You can see. 
feet. My feet, huh? Hey, look. This is me against the back of the shower. Plenty of room in here. Shampoo and shower gel. In case you're wondering. Place to put your stuff. Does have a place to hold here. Place to hang um, bath cloths or whatever. And it does have the normal line <laughs> if you want to hang your clothes. Plenty of space in there. I did all that with the door closed. Corey, is there anything else you think I've left out of the room tour? Ow! Oh, storage! Suitcase storage! Under your bed! Let's take a look! Can you see it? Look at all that beautiful storage space. I think that's it for this tour. But I wanted to make sure I came back and showed you the bathroom. Alright, bye! Hey guys! Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also, click the notification bell. That way, anytime we put out new content, you'll be notified.